In this video, we are going to be using Python code to make our micro bit read the temperature. Uh, there is a little sensor on the back of the micro bit board that will read the temperature nearby. It's not overly accurate from my experience, but hey, it does the job and it's a cool little feature to have a play with. So let's head over to our Python editor now. I've got mu open, and if you're using mu like me, make sure you're set to the BBC micro bit mode. We're going to make a new file from here, and our first line of code will be from micro bits import star. So that's just saying we're going to import all the functions from the micro bit library. So we've now got access to them all. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable. I'm going to call that variable the underscore temp. Okay, you can call it whatever name you like, but I'll just go with that one. Um, and it's going to be equal to temperature bracket bracket. So what that is doing is calling up a function from the micro bit library that reads the temperature. Okay, on the next line, we just want to display that temperature on the screen. So we're going to write display dot scroll. We'll have it scrolling across the screen. And we need to write, whoops, we need to write the temp in brackets. Okay, now this isn't going to work straight away. And the reason being is that the temperature is actually an integer. What we're trying to display on the screen is a string. So we need to convert the temperature from an um, integer or a number into a string, which the microbit recognizes as letters. So before the word the temp, I want you to write str and open up a bracket, and then at the end of that line, close a bracket. So just double check that bit of code there on yours. I'm actually got the brackets in the right place, but basically it's just converting the temperature variable into a string, which means we'll be able to display it across our screen. Now the other thing I want to add to this code is I want to make it loop over and over and over again. So if the temperature flashes up once, you might miss it the first time. Okay, so it'd be good if we could just keep the temperature scrolling through constantly on the screen. And if there's any changes in the temperature, it will also update that number. So what we need to do is just make an infinite loop. So just above um, where the main code is there, I'm just going to write while true with a capital T and put a colon. And then I'm going to indent these two lines of code. So I'll highlight them and press tab. And that's just basically saying that these two lines of code here are going to be repeating over and over and over again until we stop our code from running. So it's always reading the temperature and it's always going to be scrolling that temperature across the screen of the micro bit. Okay, so you can save that up and I'm going to actually test it in my micro bit playground first of all over here on grok so i've copied that text and i've just pasted it into the playground here i'll give it a run you can see the thermometer over here says 28 degrees so on our screen we get 28 degrees constantly scrolling across if we move this temperature gauge down to say six degrees we should see it update to the number six you can even go into negatives if you want so that's on negative nine so you should see a negative nine come up I'm not sure what the limit is for the micro bits um, temperature sensor. It might be 45 degrees like Grok has here, but I don't think we're going to get any temperatures above that. Okay, so let's um, give it the true test now. We'll send it across to our actual micro bit. So when you're back in Mu, just hit the flash button there. And after you hit that flash button, um, we should get the temperature um, scrolling across our screen on our micro bits. Okay, so I'll switch cameras now and let's have a look and see if we've got it working. Alrighty, so I'm just sending that temperature code across and we should see a reasonably warm temperature come up on the screen. It's pretty hot in this room. There we go, 31 degrees. So yeah, that is a fairly warm temperature. So that seems to be working just fine.